Hello, everyone. Welcome to International Business Correspondence Online Classroom. Today's course content is the application of politeness strategies in international business letters. The purpose of writing foreign trade letters is to exchange business information, establish and maintain good business partnerships. To write an appropriate foreign trade letter. One usually follows seven principles: clarity, completeness, conciseness, concreteness, correctness, consideration, and politeness. Among these, consideration and politeness both emphasize the importance of politeness in letters. When writing foreign trade letters, consider the other party's perspective. And take care of the other party's interests, protecting the reception's face while also preserving the sender's face. The application of politeness strategies is reflected in every part of the letter. For example, in the salutation, we should choose different forms of salutation based on the relationship between the sender and the recipient. In a letter establishing a business relationship, the first letter from the sender to the recipient usually doesn't know the specific recipient at the other company, so the salutation is "Dear Sirs." With the development of the women's movement, when the recipient's gender is uncertain, now it is often "Dear Sirs" or "Madams." In the second or third letter to the same recipient, the sender should know the recipient's name, so the salutation becomes "Dear Mister" or "Dear Miss" plus the recipient's last name. Later, as both parties become more familiar and closer, the salutation can become "Dear" plus the recipient's first name, as seen. The relationship between the letters parties determines the use of the salutation. In example two, the first sentence uses attention to the other party's interests and compliments two politeness strategies. The second sentence uses a concise seeking strategy. The third sentence uses a promise exchange strategy. The above sentences. Use giving reasons and expressing optimism. These two politeness strategies to indicate the writing purpose is to establish a business relationship with the other party and hope to receive the other party's product catalog and printed materials as soon as possible. This letter is a reply to the received inquiry letter. First. The sender expresses pleasure in receiving the inquiry letter, taking care of the other party's face, and then adopts the strategies of giving gifts and seeking consensus, stating that a catalog and price list are enclosed with the letter, and samples are also sent separately, believing that the other party will appreciate their product's superior quality and a reasonable price. In the beginning part, the sender first acknowledges that the goods were received on time, and thanks the recipient for timely shipping. Then they start describing the problem that occurred using an indirect politeness strategy. The above is the application of politeness strategies in international business letters. Okay, that's all for today's class. Goodbye. Now, please complete a few exercises. <music>